The ischemia trial funded by the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute asked the following question. Is there a benefit to adding a routine invasive strategy consisting of cardiac catheterization and revascularization if suitable when added to medical therapy in patients who are stable but have moderate to severe ischemia on a stress test? Three quarters of the patients underwent a blinded CT angiogram to make sure they didn't have left main disease and they did, did have obstructive disease. They were randomly assigned to that invasive strategy or the conservative strategy, where they were only to go to the cath lab and have revascularization if they failed medical therapy. Both groups had really good medical therapy advised and lifestyle changes. So what did we find? We found no overall difference between the two groups in terms of the primary endpoint or the major secondary endpoint. The former was a composite of cardiovascular death, MI, or hospitalization for unstable angina, heart failure, or resuscitated cardiac arrest. The major secondary endpoint was cardiovascular death, or MI, and quality of life. Interestingly, the curves crossed at two years. Early on, the primary and secondary endpoint favored conservative strategy. Late, it favored invasive strategy with less spontaneous uh, MIs. Interestingly, the overall all-cause mortality rate was low in this population that was well treated. 6.5 percent all-cause mortality at four years, and it was the same in both groups with a hazard ratio of 1.05. And by pre-specified Bayesian analysis, we showed that there's only about a 10 percent or less likelihood that we missed a 10 percent relative risk reduction in all-cause mortality. The quality of life results were impressive. Patients who started with angina at baseline, especially daily or weekly angina, had a substantial reduction in the probability that they would be angina-free at one, two, and three years with an invasive strategy. That was also true for patients with monthly angina. They were, the invasive strategy was superior. So the bottom line is, what do patients care about? They care about living longer and feeling better. We showed that over five years of follow-up, with an average of 3.3 years of follow-up, we saw no evidence that they would live longer with a routine invasive strategy, and we saw that if they had angina at baseline, that would be further improved by an invasive strategy. Very importantly, we did not enroll patients having a heart attack or a heart attack within two months. We didn't enroll patients with low ejection fraction or heart failure or left main disease or symptoms that could not be controlled with medical therapy. Our complication rate from the procedures was extremely low. This would not, I don't think, apply to centers that have higher complication rates for these procedures.